your girl lost 23 pounds. What's good, Nika Squad? It's your girl, Nika, and I'm back with another video. To my OGs, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. To my new subscribers, thank you guys for supporting me. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, go ahead and click that subscribe button and support my channel. Before I jump into today's video, you knew I had to leave y'all with a motivational quote. And the motivational quote is, remember why you started. And I felt like this quote spoke directly to me because I had to like remember why I started my weight loss journey. I am not a dietitian. I am not a licensed anything to give you guys advice. I'm just simple like sharing what works for me and hopefully I could help someone else. So if you guys decide to like try it, I mean, you guys are free to do so. But this is what worked for me and I just think I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna just give y'all a little breakdown of what intermittent fasting is. According to Wikipedia, intermittent fasting is any various meal timing schedules that cycles of voluntary fasting and non-fasting over a given period. It kind of like tells you, okay, this is when you stop eating, this is your window for eating, and then you stop eating. So currently I did, and I still do, the 16 8 and what that is is you fast for 16 hours and you have a eight hour window where you basically can eat and i at everything my time started at eight o'clock in the night i basically like just stop eating at eight and i can't eat again until the next day at 12 p.m it sounded good but when you try it if you're not motivated enough you will stop doing it and for me, I would say I messed up a million times. I was never perfect, but I stuck to it and I went from this to this. Your girl lost 23 pounds. I lost 23 pounds. Um, and it took a while because like I said, I wasn't perfect. Um, I struggled a lot with just like not eating. I knew I started while I was breastfeeding and that was a really bad idea. Um, it kind of like was trying to slow down my milk supply so I kind of like stopped it. And then after I stopped breastfeeding my baby, that's when I decided to like for real, for real try it again. And I've failed multiple times, like I'm not even gonna lie guys. I've been trying and because I didn't see fast results, I was like, I'm not doing this. Went back to my whole habits, went back to eating whatever I wanted. But let me tell y'all, six months ago, I started intermittent fasting again and I started taking it way seriously. And to my surprise, I wanted it so bad this time that I did in the beginning. And I ended up seeing results. And let me tell you, I did not diet. I drank a lot of water. I started a lot of water intake. Um, I didn't do no meal prep. I just basically ate whatever I wanted, pizza. What I did was I ate them in portions. So if I used to eat three slices of pizza, I cut it down to two or one and a half. Like it was just more of like me controlling the por my portion size and I was able to eat whatever I wanted. So I do have an app that I use and it's called Body Fast. There's an unpaid version and there's a paid version. And if you wanna pay for it, then be my guest. Like, you'll have way more benefits, but all I wanted was just a reminder for the 16 to eight. So sometimes I would just keep my phone on me where it makes this little sound when it's eight o'clock and let you know, okay, your fasting period started, which is what I wanted the app for. And it kind of like just tracks some stuff. You could also log your water intake, but I didn't do any of that. Like I said, all I wanted the app for was to just remind me that, okay, you're doing this. And it starts your week you could restart your time sometimes i would go over eating at eight it would be like 8 30 or so and i could reset that time so instead of eating at 12 the next day i'll eat at 12 30 the next day 
So it's, it's really beneficial. Like the app was really helpful during um, that journey. Right now, I don't use the app anymore because I don't need to use the app anymore because my body is so used to stopping at a certain time and going at a certain time. I must say I do have cheat days, so I probably gained like two more pounds. I was 187 at first, then I went down to 164. You know, I think I'm at 166 last I checked the scale, so I did gain two pounds, but it's it's gonna be gone. I'm still on my weight loss journey. I just had a little bit too much fun and overdid it a little bit. Your girl is going back on track. Before I got pregnant, I was at 155 where I think was an ideal weight for me. I didn't want to get any bigger or any smaller. And after I got pregnant, I was at my heaviest of 200 pounds. And let me tell y'all, I struggled with self-confidence. I did not look like myself. The difference a 20 something pound makes in your life is amazing. I have more energy, it's like, I can control my eating habits now. So I went from 187 after having the baby and everything, and I just kept gaining weight. I think the heaviest I went was 189, and I was just like, nope, I'm not doing that anymore. I cut it out, and I went down to 177. Um, the first time I took it seriously, then I messed up again and canceled. I messed up again and said I wasn't gonna do it anymore, and yeah um there was multiple attempts and then it was just i was at 177 and i was just like you're losing the weight you're you're doing good why give up now you know and so i decided to for real take up that i wasn't even gonna pay for it that's how serious i was at this point i was gonna pay for at least a three-month trial or something but I ended up not doing that and just told myself that I'm gonna be doing this for me. I did it and I was so proud of myself. I'm glad I went on this journey. I might be trying other stuff, but I do not wanna throw my metabolism off. So I might just stick to intermittent fasting. 16, eight works for me. Lose a couple more pounds. I'm at 164, 66, so I fluctuate between them. I think I'll be okay at 160 and I'll just try to maintain my weight between 155 to 160. So yeah, I'm so glad I tried it. I'm so glad that I saw actual results. It actually does work for me. I never had no issues. Um, the most I would say is like I trouble with bloating a lot, but I don't think that has anything to do with me being on intermittent fasting. So that's probably just my gut health that I need to figure out some stuff to use, some products to use. But yeah, the the fasting works for me and I will be continuing it. And if you guys want more of my journey or to see if I actually went down to my ideal weight of 160, which is my whole goal for now, my birthday is coming up, um, I will give you guys updates and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, this fasting practice does work for me i don't know if it might work for somebody else but like i said i am not a dietitian i cannot tell you what to do all the advice that i have to give you is do not give up you might not see fast results but you are going to see results it took me a year to get to this point of failing and trying and failing again and trying again and not giving up to get to the point where i'm at right now so do not give up. If you really want something badly, you're going to try for it. You're going to fight for it. So thank you guys for tuning into today's video. If you want more updates, like I said, I've been doing 16-8 and I don't think I will ever stop right now. So if you guys want updates, just let me know and I will do an updated video with receipts. Of course, I'm stepping on the scale. We're going on the scale again. <laughs> and I will have that you know result for you guys thank you guys again for tuning in and i hope you guys enjoyed this little video and i'll see you guys over in my next video Bye.